Okay everyone, so in this uh, Shopify tutorial, we're gonna learn about this. Okay everyone, so in this uh, Shopify tutorial, we're gonna learn how to add shadow to an image with CSS in your Shopify store in 2020, all right? So we're gonna do this, we're gonna add a shadow like this one behind this uh, image. And as you can see, we have the shadow all the way to this corner all right so we're gonna do this to this image we have the same image but without the shadow so we're gonna learn how we can add shadow to our images okay so to do this we're gonna first find out the class name of this uh, image so to do this we're gonna open up the developer tools in chrome so open up your Chrome browser. After that, you can either right click and choose inspect right here, or go up to the top right corner, click on these three dots, go down to this one, more tools and choose developer tools. Like so. Now we have this uh, inspector right here. We can choose to change the layout to have it dock to bottom, like so, if you like to have it that way. But I like to have it docked to the right, like so. Now we're gonna choose this one, Elements. If you don't find Elements right here, just click on these uh, two arrows and choose the Elements right here, alright? After that, you can click on this one and click on the image. And this will open up this class. We're going to copy this class. So dot feature dash row underscore underscore image. So let's copy this. Now we can see where this uh, CSS is in the files. So we see that this one is in theme.scss. All right. So now we need to go to the back end of the Shopify store, go to the left sidebar, click on online store and choose themes. All right. So you can edit this in the original theme, but uh, I like to make a copy just in case that you change something you regret, okay? So we're just gonna create a copy, go to Actions, click on Duplicate, like so. And now we will copy this theme. Like so. So we can also rename this by clicking on Actions, click on Rename. And just adding what we're gonna change. So we're gonna add a shadow to image with text. Click on rename, like so. So now we're gonna change the settings in this uh, copy. So just click on actions and go and click on edit code. All right, so now we have the liquid code. Okay, so go to the left sidebar, go down to this one, assets, click on that. And here we find this one, theme.scss.liquid, click on that. All right, so now we're gonna search for this uh, class name that we just uh, saved. So we're gonna search for this, uh, so we're gonna search for this uh, class name on Mac, you can do Command F, and on PC, I think it's Control F, right? After that, we're gonna paste in the class name, so dot feature dash row underscore underscore image, okay? Now you can see that all the matches will be highlighted with yellow. So now we just find the one we want to change. So we find this one feature dash row underscore underscore image and we see all of these css if we go back to the browser 
with this uh, image, we can see that we have this display margin with position. And we have the same thing right here. So now we want to add shadow. So enter your marker next to display and hit enter to make this empty line. All right. So now we're going to do box dash shadow and colon like so. All right. So first we want to add how many pixels we want to have a shadow out from the right of the image, all right? So I'm going to add 10 pixels, px, hit space. And after that, we're going to decide how wide this shadow should be from the bottom of the image right here. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add 10 pixels, hit space. And now we're going to decide how blurry this uh, shadow should be. So we can choose from zero and up, all right? So the more value you use, uh, the more blurriness you will get, all right? So I'm going to choose 20 pixels, like so. And after that, we're going to choose the color. I'm going to choose gray. You can choose any color you like. After that, end this with a semicolon, like so. So that's it. Let's go up to the top right corner and click on this one, save. Like so. Okay, so now we're going to go to the left sidebar and check this out. We're going to go to Align Store and Themes. We're going to go and find the copy, so this one, copy of Brooklyn, shadow to image with text. Go and click on actions and click on preview. Go down. And now we can see that we have the shadow under this image. So you can play around to make the shadow more blurry or less blurry or wider to the right or to the bottom okay so when you are satisfied we're gonna go back to the back end so when you are satisfied and want to make this copy uh, to your current theme uh, and you know that everything is all right with the code we're gonna go to actions and we're gonna click on publish then we got this pop-up are you sure you want to publish uh, this uh, copy of Brooklyn, shadow to image with text? So this will replace your uh, current theme, Brooklyn. If you are sure, click on publish. Like so. So now we have this uh, current theme as copy of Brooklyn, shadow to image with text. Now we can click on actions and rename this to whatever you like. I'm just gonna remove copy of and this shadow to image with text, like so. Click on rename. All right, so let's have a look. Click on actions, click on preview. Go down. And now we can see that we have the shadow to this uh, image and also all the new uh, images you're gonna add with text will have this shadow so let's test it out let's go back to current theme Brooklyn click on customize all right let's add another one I'm gonna click on this one add section choose image with text click on add select image i'm just going to choose an image and now you can see that we have this uh, shadow as well on all the new uh, images with text okay everyone so this is how you can use css to add 
shout out your images in your Shopify store in 2020. All right. All right. So also, if you need more help, you can hire me uh, as a Shopify developer. You find all the information below in the description. All right. So I hope this video helped you out. Okay, everyone. So I hope this uh, video helped you out. If you like, you can hire me as a Shopify developer to customize your Shopify even more. All right. You can also subscribe right here for more of these uh, Shopify videos and also check out my latest video right here. So I hope you have an awesome day. Take care and bye.